in today. I'm filling in for Mr. James, so bear with me as I'm not super familiar with this story. Apparently, today's story involves four-footed animals, reptiles, birds, and a sheet? Am I reading this correctly? Hmm. And it teaches us a very important lesson about the good news that Jesus is for everyone. Oh, wow. Well, that's an important lesson. Can't wait to see. Check out this story from the book of Acts. At Caesarea, there was a man named Cornelius, a centurion in what was known as the Italian Regiment. He and all his family were devout and God-fearing. He gave generously to those in need and prayed to God regularly. One day at about three in the afternoon, he had a vision. He clearly saw an angel of God who came to him and said, Cornelius. Cornelius stared at him in fear and said, What is it, Lord? The angel answered, Your prayers and gifts to the poor have come up as a memorial offering before God. Now, send men to Joppa to bring back a man named Simon, who is called Peter. When the angel who spoke to him had gone, Cornelius called two of his servants and a soldier who was one of his attendants. He told them everything that had happened and sent them to Joppa. About noon the following day, they were on their journey. Peter went up on the roof to pray. He became hungry and wanted something to eat. And while the meal was being prepared, something like a dream came over him. He saw heaven opened and something like a large sheet being let down to earth by its four corners. It contained all kinds of four-footed animals, as well as reptiles and birds. Then a voice told him, Get up, Peter, slay and eat. Surely not, Lord, Peter replied. I have never eaten anything impure or unclean. The voice spoke to him a second time. Do not call anything impure that God has made clean. This happened not one, not two, but three times, and immediately the sheep was taken back to heaven. While Peter was wondering about the meaning of the vision, the men sent by Cornelius arrived. God told Peter he had sent those men and to go with them. They set out together for Caesarea, and when they arrived, Cornelius was expecting them and had called together his relatives and close friends. It was good of you to come, Cornelius said. Now we are all here in the presence of God to listen to everything the Lord has commanded you to tell us. Then Peter began to speak. I now realize how true it is that God does not show favoritism, but accepts from every nation people who fear him and do what is right. Peter began to explain to them the good news of peace through Jesus Christ, who is the Lord of all. He spoke of the amazing things Jesus did while on this earth, but how he was killed by hanging him on a cross but that God raised him from the dead on the third day, and how many people were able to see him after he rose and was alive. All the prophets testify about him, said Peter, that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. Cornelius, his family and friends believed the message and were baptized in the name of Jesus. I get it now. Four-footed animals, reptiles, birds, and a sheet that's talking about Peter's vision and the story of Cornelius and his family becoming part of God's family. Peter finally understood God was showing him that just as those animals were not unclean, the good news of Jesus is for all people, for Jews as well as Gentiles, and that anyone, no matter who they are, who believes in Jesus will have their sins forgiven and become part of God's family. This message is for the whole world! When Peter was at Cornelius' house, it says in Acts 10, 34-35, Then Peter began to speak. I now realize how true it is that God does not show favoritism, but except from every nation, people who fear Him and do what is right. Hey, that's our verse challenge this week! Check this out!
amazing truth. The good news of Jesus is for everyone. God does not show favoritism, but accepts all people and wants them to come to a knowledge of truth and receive forgiveness in His name. To end our lesson today, check out Kid Moments with Julia and Alyssa for some important truths from today's Bible story. And we'll see you next time. Bye! Me too. We'll see you next time.